we're going to be looking at the basic principles on how to build your portfolio. The first thing we want to consider when we're building our portfolio is to not show everything we've got, but the best that we've got, right? Sometimes when we don't have like a strong body of work, we tend to want to squeeze everything um, in our portfolios. When in reality, just showing your best work will have the most effective impact. A few years back, I had this website that you guys are seeing on the screen. I pretty much showed everything I had done. You do get a sense of quantity and variety. But when I had the chance to redesign my own portfolio, I definitely focused on going for quality over quantity. Another important thing to keep in mind is to try to show the kind of work you want to be hired for. So this was a web design for Adobe. It generated massive traffic. It became quite popular. But again, not the kind of thing that I am naturally driven to do. So bottom line is, it's not that I don't know how to do it or that I'm not going to do it. I have this website to show for and some other digital work that I've done, but it's not what I want to be hired for. The third principle to keep in mind is to not rely entirely on personal projects. Personal projects are great and actually necessary because this is how we get to explore new techniques that uh, we'll probably never be hired for, but we have to do our best to present it in the most professional way. Back when I was sort of starting, a friend of mine and I decided to launch a little collection, if you will, of t-shirt designs and posters. No one hired us for it, but I wanted to show it in my portfolio because I thought the outcome was, was quite good. I was proud of it. So the takeaway of this point is that, yes, use personal projects if you have to, don't abuse it, but if you do, do your best to make sure they blend in with the actual real projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my process, check out my online course at Domestica.